You're watching NBC4, the Tri-State News Channel. And now, Sue Simmons, Jim Rosenfield, Janice Hunt, and Len Berman. This is News Channel 4, live at 5. Next in news for your health, Dr. Max Gomez on a new way to screen for oral cancer. Oral cancer will strike 31,000 Americans this year. 8,000 will die. The good news is that oral cancer is simple to find. It starts as a suspicious looking spot that your dentist can see. But to tell whether a suspicious lesion is potentially deadly requires an invasive biopsy. Now there's an easier way. We're going to check that area that we're concerned about. During a regular dental checkup, Nancy Zelmo's dentist noticed a tiny white spot on her tongue. And we just watched it for a couple of weeks. It didn't go away. Nancy's odds are good. Only 2 to 3 percent of suspicious areas turn up cancerous or even precancerous. But in the past, the only way to know for sure was to perform a painful biopsy. The problem with oral cancer is that up until recently, there hasn't been a simple non-invasive test in order to discover if a damp normal looking lesion is actually oral cancer. Now a new technique called the oral CDX brush biopsy is letting dentists like Jerry Simon toss the scalpel while improving the detection of early mouth cancer. Brush biopsy is a really cool thing. It's quick and simple. The dentist gently rubs a suspicious area with a tiny little brush. The brush picks up cells without causing bleeding. It takes literally seconds to do. So how did it feel? Like a little toothbrush. It was very simple, very painless and it was, it was surprising. The brush is rubbed onto a slide that's sent to a lab for analysis. A software program originally designed to spot decoy missiles from the real thing helps technicians sort out cancerous cells from normal ones. Nancy's test turned out benign. We're ecstatic. Now studies have shown that the system accurately detects 100 percent of the cancerous and precancerous lesions and has the American Dental Association's seal of acceptance. The new test, including lab work and dentist fees, can run up to $215, but many medical insurance plans cover the cost and beats the heck out of finding out very late that you have cancer. And 100 percent accuracy. Yeah. That's great. All right, Max. Thank you. Mm -hmm. That'll do it for Live at Five. Thanks for joining us.